Hi, it's Wednesday. That means it's time for another video edition of Widower Wednesday. I'm Abel Kio, author of the book Dating a Widower, and today we're going to discuss how not to let past dates, such as the date of death, the late wife's and widower's anniversary or her birthday, uh, dictate your future. Uh, too often I've seen widowers and those who are dating them uh, let those days dictate what they can or cannot do in the future, and that is not good. These dates, though, you know, they should maybe, you know, they should be kind of somewhat special days, I guess, or days that, um, you know, that the widower can do something if, if he wants. Uh, too often I've seen them dictate things in the wrong way. For example, uh, I've seen numerous times where people think they can't get engaged or married in the month of June because that was the month, you know, that was the date she died or the, or that was the month, you know, she died in June or um, I don't know, her, you know, her birthday was in June or something like that. So it becomes like the whole month. Uh, we can't do anything because it's some kind of sacred month or something like that. Or we can't do anything on Mother's Day because, you know, it's a special day and, you know, the widower and her had kids, but I don't have kids with the a widower. And so it turns into like this weird sacred day and uh, nobody's ever happy with the results of that. Uh, the truth is, is don't let the past dictate uh, your future or living your life. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't give people space on a certain day. In fact, if you read my books, I say, you know, if a widower wants a couple days where he can, whatever, go to the cemetery or commiserate in a very healthy way, um, I don't have a problem with that. So, for example, if she died on June 1st, I'm not saying you go out and get married or get engaged or anything like that on June 1st. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that the whole month of June isn't off limits to do certain things, uh, you know, or you can't or, you know, I guess, you know, if you want another example, you, you, you know, you, you can't go to a certain vacation spot or, you know, do something, uh, you know, that the that the widower and his his uh, late wife or his late wife have done or I don't know, go on the same vacation or whatever it is, you know, because that's something that 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 they, that they did. No, it's not healthy to let the past dictate the uh, future. In fact, um, again, while I'm fine setting aside a day or two where, you know, it can be kind of a, you know, a day for the widower to reflect, I'm not, I don't think it's a good idea to have these whole months or weeks or big blocks of time where you can't do anything because, you know, it's, you know, a, because a certain anniversary or a certain date is coming up. L let me give you a personal example. Uh, so uh, Juliana and I were engaged in December, 13 months, by the way, after my uh, late wife died, and it was December 7th, if you want to know the actual date. Uh, guess what month the late wife and I were married? Okay, think about it, think about it. Okay, for those of you who are thinking December, that is correct. The late wife and I were actually married on December 18th. Uh, despite that, though, you know, I didn't, that didn't stop me for any reason from getting engaged to Julie um, in December. In fact, if you want the whole story, the whole month of November and December and January are actually minefields because it's, you know, the date of death or anniversary, her birthday, it's all kind of in there. But despite that, you know what, we still got engaged. Um, and if you want to talk about, you know, again, the past dictating the uh, future, uh, if you want to know a little bit about how Juliana and or where Juliana and I got engaged, um, it was in a town called Logan, Utah. It's a college town. Utah State University is located up there. Um, that's where we got engaged. Um, guess what city the late wife and I got married in? Think about it. Okay. Put your guesses up. Okay. Okay. For those of you who said Logan, Utah, <laughs> you're, you're uh, absolutely uh, correct. Now, I didn't go and propose anywhere near the spot where the late wife and I were married, uh, but I did make the whole day fun and romantic. And so now when Juliana and I think of Logan, Utah, guess what we think of? We don't think of the fact that that's where the late wife and I got married, uh, but the memories that we made there, it's become kind of our town, right? You know, there's a, by the way, if you ever go to Logan, there's a place called the uh, Bluebird. Uh, it's a kind of a, it's a restaurant on Main Street. That's where Julie and I had our first date. You know, there's things like that there. We have all these memories. We've gone back to Logan actually a couple times. Uh, we, we've been able to get away for like from the kids for a weekend. We've actually gone up to uh, um, a Logan and spent just a, a, a couple days up there kind of on a little mini vacation. But see, the point is, is that, um, you know, we didn't let these days, these, you know, like my engagement or, uh, you know, the place where we got engaged or marriage dates or anything like that, you know, again, you know, it, we didn't let that dictate when we were going to live our life. Now, yes, I would not have asked Julie to marry me on December 18th. That would have been weird and all kinds of things. But, you know, I did it 11 days before, you know. I mean, if I was supposed to block off months of time, you know, technically I shouldn't have even asked her to marry me until March or something because, you know, there's no association there with any, any of those special days. Uh, but, you know, the, really the whole point of this is is that you can't live in the present if you let the past 
dictate your behavior. It's okay to get married the same month the widow or the late month got married. Just don't do it on the same day. It's okay to plan a trip um, to the same spot, you know, to this to to a place where maybe has significance, um, you know, for the widower and the uh, a late wife. You know, it's okay to do things like that. Um, it's okay, um, you know. It's okay to have uh, your day, but don't let that one. Day, you know, it's okay to give the uh, widower some time, um, but don't let that one day stop <coughs> excuse me stop you or stop him from planning other things and planning your uh, future uh you know when julie and i were first married there might have been some sensitivity around some of those days but we again you know we never stopped that from living our lives uh, we've gone on and you know the longer we've been married and together the you know the less significance you know the days like the date of death and um, my late wife and mine anniversary and her birthday have it's just you know it's part of a living but you know i don't block off three months of my life because you know, of all the sad things or happy memories even that have happened then. So, you know, that's my advice is, um, you know, if you want to get married in June and that happens to be the, you know, the month that they got married, um, that's fine. Work it out with your uh, a widower. Again, don't do it on the same day, but, you know, do it whatever, two weeks before, two weeks after. Just make it about you guys. And again, don't let the past dictate your future. It's about living in the present, planning for the future. That's the way you're happy. That's the way you move forward. I'm Abel Keo, author of the book Dating a Widower. Uh, please feel free to comment, post below, uh, subscribe, do things like that. In fact, if you have stories about, you know, days being, you know, whole months being sacred or have uh, uh, questions around this, you know, feel free to put them in the comments below. I read them and respond to them. And I will see you next Wednesday.